Florida is now joining several states in cutting ties with the oldest library association in the country. The states are no longer accepting grant money from the American Library Association. WEAR's Aubrey Spears joining us. And Aubrey, this decision comes amid some controversial book bans, of course, and a big debate over which materials should be available to children. Yes, today I spoke with lawmakers from both Florida and Alabama who think parting ways with the organization is the best thing to do. This was merely a transactional decision to protect children in Florida. Florida is joining a handful of states in ditching the American Library Association amid a continued culture war over books made accessible to children. Representative Michelle Salzman says cutting ties with the organization is the right thing to do. One thing we did find is that the American Library Association has really been empowering um, the libraries and the schools that affiliate with those libraries to go against what the state of Florida has created in statute. And so Alabama, also one of those states walking away from the American Library Association. The organization providing more than one and a half million dollars in emergency relief dollars for dozens of libraries suffering financial hardships during COVID. Four libraries in Alabama got $20,000 grants, including the Baldwin County Library Cooperative in Robertsdale. I reached out to the cooperative. A representative confirms they got that money to fund a hotspot program and pay for a full-time IT employee. They say they're now covering those costs on their own and are no longer members of the American Library Association. Alabama Senator Chris Elliott says this decision to separate will allow more people to become involved in what's going on in their local libraries. Well, I think it brings to light that there are differing viewpoints and that the differing viewpoints have merit. And the way to handle that is to look at what local communities think is best for their children in their local area and to not try to push something uh, in a community that, that the community doesn't want. WEAR News obtained a statement from the Florida Library Association to its members. The chapter says the Department of State's decision to cut ties comes from scrutiny over the use of public funds to support the association. The statement goes on to say FLA believes that this limitation will hurt Florida libraries' abilities to serve our residents. In a statement to WEAR News, a spokesperson for the American Library Association says those who lose here are the libraries and, most importantly, their communities. A representative for Escambia County told me they're still trying to determine whether or not this decision will have any impact on West Florida libraries. And in Escambia, sorry, in Santa Rosa and Okaloosa counties, they told me they do not expect this decision to have any impact on their library systems. In Escambia County, Aubrey Spears, WEAR News.